What does everyone do but won't admit? Give advice that they don't follow. Rehash conversations or plan future ones with people who aren't there. Wonder if people that have since long disappeared from your life or you've only met once or twice from time to time still think about you. Pick their nose and scratch their ass. Judge. We all do it. It's about being intelligent enough to not let that cloud our perspective. Pick sides, physically they don't, but mentally they do. Think about compliments given by someone years ago. Judge people as being horrible human beings for doing things while driving that you excuse as being okay if you yourself do it. Pick your nose, like it's an effective way to clear when blowing just can't quite do it, but know it's seen as unnatural. Talk to themselves when they're alone. Fantasize about others. Talk behind people's backs. Die. Imagining what life would be like with your crush, even as an adult. Look at their poops in the toilet. Home alone farts that rattle the windows and scare the pets. The neighbors' is pets. Have an even win an argument with a stranger from an encounter three years ago when you didn't say anything st the time. Cup your hands over your chest in the shower. Let it fill with water. Then let the water drop all at once. Secretly wish certain PPL, move away. Lie. Everybody lies. They stare at shit-covered toilet paper to see if they're done wiping. Dr. Masters who did famous study on sex, back in the 60s, said in an interview, that 95 of people admit that they masturbate. The doctor was then asked by the interviewer, what does this tell you, and the doctor replied five of people are liars. We're all going longer than one week between bedsheet washes. Have hero fantasies. I don't know if everyone does this, but I'd like to know. When I read about something horrible, I put on my proverbial cape and fix it. Maybe I am there to see the rape or murder before it happens and stop it. Sometimes I prepare a humble speech for the press as well. I think, on some level, it's a coping mechanism. Instead of being hateful and bitter, I fix the problem. I fix nothing, of course, but I'll be able to shake off the feeling of despair for a while. Fart in public. It may be discreet, but you've done it. Commit a double homicide in Florida in 1993 that remains unsolved to this day. Being a snob about at least one thing. Wine, food, chainsaws. Whatever. Cry. Try to sing, like, really good. When I'm alone, I be hitting those high notes even though I sound like a dying walrus. Don't go to see the doctor when they know they should. Fart in a pool and watch the bubbles. Masturbate. Pretend like they weren't sleeping when a phone call wakes them up. Have biased opinions. Unless you've been living in a cave with no outside communication, your opinions are skewed. Smell their own farts. Edit typo. Get SHT wrong. Browse people's social media accounts after meeting them. Everyone has a guilty pleasure that they don't like to admit, whether it's binging their favorite show or checking their phone when they should be doing something else. We all have things that make us feel good but we don't necessarily want to share with others. Probably complain. No one likes a complainer, but everyone I've ever met complains about crap. Think about what could have been with an ex or one who got away. Even if you hate rich people, even if you loudly say buying lottery tickets is a waste of money, even if you're the most die-hard communist, you still fantasize about winning the lottery. I don't want to admit it. Search for their ex on Facebook. Pick their nose. It's not glamorous, sure. But if something's in there, and no one's around, I'm getting it out. Procrastinates in some way. Steroids are the most lied about drug. 
people will admit to having done heroin, crack, meth, etc. more than guys admit to having done steroids. It's wild how many guys claim they are natural while taking something. Talk to themselves when they're alone and make up scenarios in their heads. Fart and pretend it was someone else. Judge people. Reposting the same questions on this sub. Road rage. After you take a shit you go back for a clean up wipe or a just checking wipe a few hours later. A itchy anus is a sign you need a clean up wipe. Masturbate. Masturbate. Scratch and sniff. Take a shit in bathroom just to be on my phone to escape from my family. Doing it as I type right now. I think at one point or another, everyone's had the intrusive thought of putting your hand in a garbage disposal. Thinking of being a hero saving their school college office from terrorists and impressing their crushes. Fall for clickbait headlines. When someone says they only had two cookies, it's most likely eight. Sniffs their fingers after scratching their butt. Not all the we all have done it. Social media stalking. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those that admit they pee in the shower, and those that lie about it. More people are actively bisexual than call themselves that. I be picking major wedgies. Practice arguing arguments in the shower. Also rehashing past arguments with I should have said this instead.